Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. This is 321 The Pod. Well, we'll hello. Welcome. I'm sorry? I said, well, welcome. Who Who's well? I, I'm welcoming why you. Why is he doing that? Well, I'm welcoming you. You're welcoming me to the Isn't show? that what you do? Yes, I'm welcoming you. Oh. Welcome, Chris. Well, hi, how are you? Oh, there it is. Hi. I was welcome because it's been so long that I felt I had to welcome you back. I, I wanted to make sure you felt welcome. Yeah, when was the last time we actually did a show? Let's be honest. It's got to have, it's have to have been, I can't speak English today. Gee, me About a month. Uh, January 29th. So yeah, a month and a little bit more. Uh, yeah. A whole shit ton has changed. Oh my goodness, right? A lot. A lot of water under the bridge in a month. <clears throat> Yeah, last time you spoke with me, I was working up in Washington State uh, with Invigor Medical, and now I'm not doing that. I am back in California, and I start a new job on Monday. I, amazing stuff. And during that time, you also got married and had another child. No, I did not do that. That didn't but, happen. Okay, I was confused. a whole bunch of other stuff happened. Like, my roof started leaking. I got a flat tire on my car. Uh, we had to attend a funeral. I got deathly sick. Yeah. Um, I was on the set of Mayans working, which was quite fun. And I went to NASCAR. Where yeah, that's go? like you literally just did all of that in five weeks. That's someone's like half year. Yeah. And, and it wasn't even necessarily the five weeks. I would say it was more like the two oh. and a half in the middle. <laughs> it was like a two week. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a two week span where you had just uh, uh, everything going on. But Dude, I'm glad that you are back in Southern California. Uh, I mean, outside yeah. of being in Dallas, Texas, the only other place I'd want you to be is in Southern California. And uh, congrats on the new job. That's a pretty awesome gig. You're still in the industry, so that's great. Yeah, and I'm close to home, and I'm doing yeah. what I like. So it's a win-win-win, if, if you put it in, I think, terms as in uh, Ant-Man would say. I was just about to say, since we talked another thing has happened and that was a marvel movie has been released and you know we both love the marvel movies and something about this particular one that's interesting is i've kind of not tapped out on marvel but i've taken a step back on marvel because just like with star wars i think too much too much saturation i'm yeah. not interested i mean we i went and saw thor and it sucked monkey balls i really did not like the oh, thor movie ouch. i really really did not like i mean i rank it literally my bottom maybe four marvel movies that's how bad that thor movie was but anyways I, 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 all of it but ant-man is one like there's still movies like listen if they did an avengers movie gardens guardians movie i'm in line for that like i'm waiting for that okay i think but, that's next month actually so get in line right. Right, but no, May fifth. Um, <laughs> you already you already have your sleeping bag and tents. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm like already ready. So there's, <laughs> but here's the thing. So there's certain Marvel movies or franchises or or let's call it IP. There's certain yeah. Marvel IP that will get me out of bed, get me in line, and get me to a theater. Okay, not many are left because they're really burning their bridges with me. I think they're going a little too far with some stuff. But Ant Man is one of those where I'm like, guys, we're going to the theater. I'm not going to stream this. I'm not going to whatever. We're leaving our house and going to the theater. So we went and saw this as a family in the theater, which is one of the few. We don't. We only go to the theater maybe four times a year. Uh, yeah, like because you family. have a theater in your house, let's be honest. Right, exactly. So, uh, mm -hmm. so this got us out. We went to the theater. And I got to say, it was mixed results for family. We were, uh, I thought it was a serviceable movie that was fun and interesting. but just didn't it didn't do it for me like i don't need to watch it again right away but if it came on i wouldn't necessarily change the channel when it's on tbs in yeah. like three years i i i agree with you to a point but i you know me i'm addicted to the marvel universe yeah. as i am the star wars universe and i watch the movies on repeat every day because i have little to no brain capacity left <laughs> yeah, yeah. so <laughs> so um i did like the movie um, I know that it's more of a setup for the next step 
in kind of the way that Marvel's kind of going with the MCU, which makes introducing the new bad guy basically yeah. is yeah. yes. And there's there's a lot of underlying tones and stuff that are going on in there that are going to lay out in other episode or other yeah. movies for other characters. But it's I I, I think of this like um like that Captain Marvel movie. Well, Captain Marvel showed up right after yeah. Infinity War, yeah, because they needed her in Endgame. No, not true. I got no. my timeline wrong. Yeah, your timeline wrong. It yeah. happened up a little bit before Infinity War because they needed her in Infinity War and Endgame. Yeah. So it was like, okay, well, we have to put this one in because we need her. It's going to make more sense. She's more powerful. Blah, blah, blah. I feel like it's like that, but they did it in reverse. I think that Ant Man was already established, doing so well. I love the characters. There are favorites uh, yeah. between me and my my daughter Cassie. It's the same daughter, same name as his, uh, is, uh, his daughter, and I call my her pumpkin, and we call peanut. But anyway, besides all that, uh, I love Paul Rudd. Is he's awesome? He's, he's one of the most likable guys in all of Hollywood. In that, like, you can't find that someone that goes, "I hate Paul Rudd." No, like, but like, no one goes like uh, when you what do they call that? That Q score of someone where you rate like how like in the zeitgeist they are and how much yeah. people just are aware of them. My mother knows Paul Rudd. My grandmother Paul knows Paul Rudd, and my my daughters know Paul Rudd, and they all yeah. like him. And right? everybody's like, seen him dancing on the internet. <laughs> Everybody right. has seen him. Right. But, but I feel like I feel like with Captain Marvel, they did that first, and now they're going to open it up to the Marvels and stuff, which I'm hoping. <laughs> opens up the character okay. more. I feel like they did it backwards for Ant-Man. They opened it up and he's good. And he's the one that established in one end game, let's be honest. And then they're like, okay, well, we're going to pigeonhole in him to opening the door to the next episode. So it didn't really I also, expand. I also think it's their way of, they're introducing this new older version of his daughter in a movie so that she takes over and is aunt person or aunt, you know, whatever in the future. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's happening. Her name yeah, is that, that, Yeah, well, whatever. So they're setting it up for that uh, mm -hmm. using the same technologies for this next group to take over, which I get it. That's cool. I was fine with it. My frustration is the, the, they're getting lazy with the plots and the plot holes uh, or, or just like the ridiculousness of how many times did Michelle Pfeiffer's character go like not explain something going, yes. we don't have any time. And then they would spend like, uh, an hour transversing to the next place and she still hasn't explained it's like actually we have plenty of time and by the <laughs> way if you would just explain what's going on the whole movie would have been cut by 50 minutes and like 50 you, minutes like, of the like she can you create time travel lives. we have plenty of time like let's go back and talk about this yeah. 10 minutes ago yeah well here's the thing let's, <laughs> let's go back 10 minutes and give us 10 minutes to talk so yeah I, there's some plot holes where i think they're just getting lazy and that frustrates me because I thought it was a funny movie. I loved yep. some of the charm and the humor. I You could tell that it was setting up stuff that was, you know, that's going to be coming. They're setting up the bad guy who's going to be the Thanos of this phase. Yeah, uh, I get it. I'm By the way, I'm all on board on all of that. I think they just got lazy where they're like, we got to throw uh, 27 scenes together. We have these actors for these days. We're going to cram. It just It just felt a little rushed. Yeah. On certain spots, and I think it could have used some um, script tightening is well, what I would have advised them on. Uh, yeah, I agree. It could have shortened down a little bit to refine the story to make it a little more precise. Uh, however, I do like the ending uh, end scene, uh, which you said took like seven years to get there. Is what it I'm was talking. four hours of freaking credits so that you could get a three second snippet. I'm tired of this BS Marvel. This is where you're losing me. Make yeah. it part of your damn movie. Or by the way, the end credit scenes, you put it in after the major players have been announced, right? So you see the, you know, all the actors directed by, then go to your cut scene. Don't give me this. Well, there's two cut scenes. One takes place three minutes in, one takes place 15 minutes later. Yeah. Uh, we're, you I'll know, go watch we're, that we're, one on YouTube. Right. It just really frustrates me. I think they've gone a little too far with it. But uh, the one yeah, thing yeah. that I did like about the cut scene, which uh, kind of plays into, kind of how marvel does things um it's like it showed it, i'm gonna ruin spoilers if you haven't seen it yet turn the shit off it shows all the other kings right all yeah. the other kings all the other personalities all the other different versions all the other different whatever and they're like the ones that locked up that kang and ex and exiled him and they're like well we didn't get to kill him they did so since we didn't get to kill him let's go kill them 
Yeah. I, I like how it's like so practical. Like, well, no, he was our kill. We're going to go kill you now. It's it's like, uh, this is going to get interesting. Yeah. Yeah. With the, with with the multiverse different thing. Anyway, it took uh, so, forever. It did. So it did take forever. Uh, that, that was a thing. And uh, every time they said Kang, I would lean over to my daughter and go, Kodos. Oh, and then it'd be Kang, Kodos. And then, then we had we said that people are going to be rooting. You know how people were like pro Thanos, like Thanos was right. Yeah. So we decided our shirt is going to be like I would have voted for Kodos, which is not only a <laughs> Simpsons reference but a play on Kang. Yeah, yeah. So that was that was our big business idea. Okay, so because we are short <laughs> on time, yes, I want to skip to our game, which is going to tie into Ant Man. So we used I to play this I have game. A button. I oh my I... God! Do you still have oh. it? I don't have. A, okay. Do we, we care? That's not the game. That'll work. I'll totally work. So, do we care about <laughs> the Rotten Tomato scores for these movies? So, Chris, I picked three movies that are in theaters that are being talked about, okay. and I want we're, we're gonna guess uh, the the. Uh, so, here's the thing. Here's the game. Okay. You're gonna answer these questions. You're going to guess the critic score, and then you're gonna guess the audience score. Okay. For these movies, okay. Critic the first score movie, and then audience score. Right, right. And and I'm not playing, so I'm I'm the quiz master on this one. So, on the movie we were just talking about, Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania. Okay. What do the critics rate it, and then what does the audience rate it? And remember, you know, critics always shit on uh, super Marvel movies, movies anyways, yeah. but yeah. But anyway, so I'd say critics are around uh, forty, and I would say audience is around a uh, sixty-five. Okay, so you were really pretty damn close on the uh, critic score. They're at forty-eight, Ooh. which is considered rotten. But the but the audience liked it at eighty-three percent, which, by the way, is kind of how I felt about it. I'm like a yeah, you know, it was all right. It was pretty good. It was all right. You know, that's I gotta watch it again because there's a lot of stuff in there that you'd probably a lot of people didn't catch. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So keep okay. going. Next up, this movie, the sensation that's sweeping the nation, Chris, a little movie called Cocaine Bear. Uh, <laughs> it's a total joke movie, but it's super gory. And it's based on a true story. It's based on a true story. And it's this time of the year is when they release crap movies like this. But it seems like this is a movie destined to be a cult classic. Yes. Um, so uh, Cocaine Bear, what do you think critics did? And what do you think the audience says? I think critics are around a 60 just because I'm being optimistic. Yeah. And I think the audience is probably closer to a 90 because let's be honest, who doesn't want to see a bear on cocaine? This is true. Here's how I know exactly where this movie ranks. Okay. I love it when the critics and the audience have a very, very similar score. Cause that tells oh. you that's the truth. No, I messed up. no, honestly, the critics said this was 70%. Okay. And the audience said 75. So basically, you know, going in, this is going to be like a C plus pretty decent movie. That's just probably fun and filled with action and gore and stuff. Like, honestly, that actually makes me want to see it more because if the critics would have said it's a 25 and the audience was like 75, you're like, man, this might be a stupid movie. But the fact that they're both close, I think is actually a good sign. I, I think so too. And you know, what's funny is you saw the new movie prey, right? The predator prequel or whatnot. Yeah. That, which by the way, that was really good. That bear in there was yeah. what I want to see in cocaine bear, but like by a hundred times. And uh, this is the, uh, that's, that's one of the two scenes that I've replayed yeah. <laughs> over it's again a great, a great times scene. because it's uh, so great. So cocaine better, better stand up to that. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and it says here's, here's like the great synopsis. I think they nailed it on audio. This is how I feel about it. It says, Cocaine Bear does pretty much exactly what it sets out to do. And if you're in the mood for some silly horror comedy, this will be more than enough to satisfy. There. That oh sounds, God. that literally sounds like a probably a very accurate description of Cocaine Bear. All right. I got one That's more. That's my family movie for tonight. There it is. Yeah. I, I kind of have a feeling it's not a family movie. Okay. Uh, the final one was another one that I think was totally intended to be a joke movie because it's a schlocky, stupid action movie with a stupid premise. Titanic? Plane. With Gerard Butler and I can't remember the other actor who's in it. Um, you know how uh, you know how much I know that it's supposed to be clunky and weird. I don't even know what it is. I've never heard of this movie. So it's called Plane, and it's. Uh, no, you said that. Uh, 
yeah, I know. You could do another it says, point. It says, hold on, <laughs> a white knuckle action movie plane. Say, uh, Gerard Butler's character Brody has to save oh. passengers from a lightning strike by oh, making a risky yeah. landing on a war torn island, only to find that surviving the landing was just the beginning. When most of the passengers are taken hostage by the rebels, he is the only person that they can count on. Blah blah. So. It's a it's a total action movie, cheesy action movie, and this was released in February, which means you know it's got to be a crap movie. This is when they release their duds. But what do you think critics scored it, and what do you think the audience has scored it? Oh man, I swear, I if 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 Gerard Butler isn't saving a president because something yeah. fell or shooting some sort of device down or fighting some sort of Greek god. I don't know if he'd have an acting career. Good point. But I think this is, critics say this is probably going to be close to a 30. And uh, I say audience is about a 50. Okay. The reason I picked this movie, Chris, is because it is very surprising. The critics gave it the 77 and the audience Shut gave the it a door. 94. For a movie called Plane. Yes. With that plot and with Gerard Butler, because you nailed it. This is exactly his career. I think it's a fun get these mother effing snakes off my mother effing plane kind of a movie that's just fun and people really even the critics rated it fresh on Rotten Tomatoes higher rated than or even cocaine bear it, I now want to watch this movie because if it's like lethal weapon cheesy action fun I'm in I think that you're 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 right about the movie but you're wrong about the highlight I think that the reason that everybody's going to watch it is because of Mike Coulter, or better known as Luke Cage. Luke Cage. <laughs> yes, there it I is. think I his sidekick is the one that we all want to see, let's be honest. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> well, that's uh, fun. I'm going to have to watch that. I'm going to have to watch Cocaine Bear on a Plane. Cocaine Bear on a Plane. Uh, all movie. right, everybody. Well, that does it for me. I know, Chris, you got a heart out here. and Yeah, uh, I got to go pick up my child from school. All right, and I got to go drink a cocktail. So, everyone, be safe out there. And uh, we'll talk to you, maybe not next week, but a week. We'll talk to you at some point, sometime. Big news next week. Big news next week. All right. Peace out. Bye. Thank you for listening to 321 The Pod. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and leave us a review. See you soon. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah. Oh. Sorry, we were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchases, over prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.